Hello, Jake here again. Just trying to break down a little more about our Slovenian Age hives. These vary pretty drastically from our American Langstroth hives. Basically, in one way is the way you operate, which in American beehives, you actually open from the top. Those are the Langstroth. These Slovenian Age, we actually operate from the back which makes it a lot easier on the bees, right? So imagine your roof is taken off your house, all of the heat escapes, and that is very disruptive for the bees. These Ajé hives, since they open from the back, a lot less heat is escaped, and the bees are able to maintain their temperature a lot easier. A beekeeper is only as good as their tools, and here are some of our favorite ones. As I often joke, 90% of beekeeping is scraping, so this is what's called a hive tool, and we use this basically to scrape all kinds of stuff in the hive, from wax to propolis. You can see here that this Bees will propolize almost every nook and cranny in the hive. Propolis is a substance different than wax or honey. It's actually a sap-like substance that's very sticky, antibacterial, antimicrobial, and actually they use it to help seal the hive and make it a little more hypoallergenic for them. This here is a little bit of probiotic we use for our bees. When bees are trapped over the winter for a long time, they can develop a lot of digestive issues, and so we feed them probiotic to help with those digestion problems, and come springtime, they'll be fit as a fiddle again. Now, I often get asked, why would we have a, a brush inside the hive? No, it's not for your hair or skin. It is actually to brush bees off of these various parts of the hive. When we're extracting honey or working with a lot of frames at once, and sometimes have to remove those frames, we need a nice, easy way to get the bees off without hurting them. So we use a brush like this to just casually brush the bees off and not harming them whatsoever. Once again, this is Jake with Snaps Nectar. Happy to tell you more about the bees.